Hey guys, I am back. I am still getting my encoder to work. I don't know what the heck is going on with my computer, but it says that I have to set up an encoder first, but I've gone live before, so I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I am going to continue to put questions out. Um, it just won't be live, and hopefully I can get it to go live here sooner or later, um, but I'm still going to keep putting out these videos so you guys can get your answers today. So I'm up to number three. Um, for those of you who, um, well, are not number one or two, because those are the only two I did, because I thought it was going to let me connect, but um, make sure you watch that video anyways. It's only like five minutes long um, uh, to watch what I, or, you know, to hear what I have to say in the beginning, because um, I truly meant what I said. So um, number three, um, yes, I do feel that he will um, uh, finally trust it. He's got a lot of love and passion for you. Um, there's just a lot going on within his own own self um, and his, you know, his, uh, his, he feels he's not obligated, but they're his uh, responsibility, uh, the child. Um, but he is going to trust you enough, trust the connection enough to begin to, uh, um, create a family with you to create, this is the mother, um, to trust, uh, the connection enough to begin this family with you and to offer this new beginning, um, of this life together with the three of you, but he's just, he's got to have enough courage, enough, uh, trust within himself to trust the connection and to have the strength to move forward. Okay. Number four. Um, doo -doo -doo. Number four. Okay. So your first card out, number four, was the high priestess. So his feelings for you, he is keeping secret. He is keeping them under wraps um, right now. Uh, he is scared to move on, to move forward away from this emotionally draining um, connection due to finances. He's uh, he's not happy. As you see, neither one of those people in that card are showing very much happiness. Um, he's not happy in it, but he fears the... Uh, the lack, the fears, the financial hardship. Um, he would love to be able to leave this third party situation or what was a third party situation. I do feel there's no contact at the moment due to the eight of cups and the reverse, but he will, uh, he will begin to invest. Um, this is also to keep planting your seeds of intention so that, um, that way it can come to fruition. So you can manifest um, this connection into the reality. Um, but yes, yes, he will. He will be experiencing a tower moment in his relationship very soon. Yep. But for right now, he's keeping your feelings secret. He's trying to hide, hide how he feels from himself because he's confused and he's scared of financial struggle. But, um, yep. I do feel that that uh, unhappy uh, relationship will come to an end um, within the next three months. Um, he will be making contact with you, number four. All right, number five. Okay. Oops. Okay. 
I see um, number five um, in 2019. Um, if you really let uh, let go, let your you know put your heart and soul into what you are doing, um, and not be so held back, so reserved in the um, in your career, I do believe you will um, come to new levels, new heights. You have the nine of cups and the ten of pentacles. Your um, your hopes, your wishes, all your hard work will um, make your dreams come true. Your wishes come true. You're gonna gain a lot of success and a lot of money in the next year. Um, let me pull a after tarot here for this ten of pentacles. So, um, yeah, I do feel it's going to bring you to new heights, new, um, you're going to attain a very high level of success. The universe is bringing you in happiness, um, leading you and guiding you in the right way. You're bringing in a new financial opportunity, um, that's going to bring you much success. You are going to, oops, yeah, you are going to be bringing news, bringing, um, bringing your writing to where people can read it. And this is all going to happen very fast, very whirlwind like. Um, but most importantly, these are clarifying much success and happiness in your career. So you will be um, going new places, continue to put your heart and soul into that, into your career. And, um, and it's going to be a, a great year for you. I tell you that. All right. Thank you. Number five. Let's move on to number six. Okay. Okay, number six. Oops. Okay. Most definitely you will be able to leave the past in the past. Um, I do feel that um, you will be coming back together because uh, there is finally action. There's action behind the words, not just... Um, talking, but there is movement, uh, cutting away of a situation that, uh, he was currently, or that he was, uh, tied to in the past, um, getting himself out of that situation, um, being able to, uh, can, or being able to invest in the, the relationship and the two of you with the seven of pentacles. This is, um, patience and, uh, cultivating your own garden, um, planting those seeds of in, intention, but most importantly, it's putting in the work it takes to build a solid foundation. So yes, I do feel the two of you will come into a relationship. Yes, I do feel it'll be a solid relationship, a solid foundation. And um, with the king and the queen here, you guys will be vibrating at an equal level. So there will be no more separation after the two of you come back together. It'll be based on truth, movement, passion, um, the love of each other. Um, and it will be something that you are both wanting to work on and will be successful, um, at, uh, doing the mayor or whoever is the one, um, that is tied to someone will use that sword. I do feel it's him. will use that to cut himself out of his situation, uh, with the other person. Okay. Thank you. Number six. Okay, on to number seven. Okay. 
Okay, number seven. Here we go. We have the same birthday, by the way. Or no, um, me and the gentleman do that you're in question about. That's my birthday. Okay. Okay, as far as um, having a stable connection, a stable relationship, yes, I do feel that is coming in for you with the bottom of your deck being the king of pentacles, um, being stable, being grounded, um, being able to uh, provide to a family uh, situation, a family life, building um, on a solid foundation with uh, a twin flame soulmate connection with the temperance card right underneath it. Um, divine timing is when the two of, or when this will happen between the two of you, um, which will come with the next cycle of the wheel. This wheel is in the up cycle and there he is stable and grounded and passionate about the connection. Um, it can't come into a stable connection, um, just yet though, because there's something that one of you has to complete. There's a major life cycle that either you or him are in. And, um, there's something that's not done yet that has to happen before, um, the world can come and the upright and the two of you can become stable. I do feel that they will come forward making a um, somewhat stable offer, um, but with the pages, that's an immature young relationship um, and not really uh, at you know the king and queen level, but it is somewhere to grow. It is somewhere to start because um, the two of you will take a leap and take this two of cups and start, start over, start fresh, wipe the slate clean, and um, have a relationship that you can um, start on that has a little more stable foundation than how you originally started. But yes, I do feel this is your soulmate and the two of you will come in together as soon as something is completed here with the world card. There has to be an ending to a major life cycle there before um, the two of you can really get off the ground together. All right, number eight. Okay, no, number seven. I must have had number seven twice. So um, the first number seven that I just did, you you were both Sagittarius's. The, uh, the man and the woman were both Sagittarius's. The second number seven. So here we go. Okay. So, um, I do feel that, let me get back to these cards. I do feel that he will be moving, but he is not moving out of state. Um, if if um, that makes sense, he will be moving, but it's not a long distance. It's not a, it's not far away. Um, right now, he won't be moving anywhere because he's trying to regain strength from a health issue or a health condition. Um, but he is going to be soon. Um, within, I'd say the next eight weeks, he will be finding his own place. Uh, Yeah, I'm seeing that family family wants him to move close to them. Oh, yeah, that's who is out of state. Yeah, I don't feel that um, he's moving out of state. Um, I do think he's going to recover um, enough, gain enough strength um, to be able to be on his own. Um, so I don't feel him moving to Florida. 
Um, he is, however, leaving the karmic situation that he is in with the devil in reverse. He is getting out of that um, toxic situation, toxic environment. Um, yeah, divine timing is here with my page of rods. Uh, this is my divine timing cards. So um, your wishes, your hopes, your prayers, they are about to be answered with the Ace of Cups as well. So um, divine timing is here for this union. Um, and it will be in 2019. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, within the next eight weeks, um, I do feel uh, he will be moving out of the situation with his karmic. Um, and within the next four months, I do see the two of you um, in union with each other. Um, he's just really getting over some difficult health issues. Okay. Let me... Bring up my next set of questions here. Oops. Okay. Okay, number Okay, trying to show you something to do with time. Let's see what I can get here. Okay. Okay, so um, what I'm getting as a channeled message is different than what I'm getting in the cards. So I'm going to give you that first, number nine. Um, there, with the time, they're saying, um, you know, time is uh, is non-existent in the spiritual realm. Um, if you're trying to, if you are um, like subconsciously wanting to know um, if something is coming for you, if uh, you know, if if something to do with time. Um, what they're telling you is to slow down. Your angels are trying to show you something, are trying to show you a big uh, movement, a big shift that's about to happen for you. Um, you are going to go through a, uh, a deep, deep spiritual rebirth um, around May. So when you're hearing four to five months, that's probably what um, they were referring to because I'm seeing in May, you're going to have a deep awakening you're going to ascend um, very quickly uh, in your soul or in your uh, ascension process. So you're going to become more psychic. You're going to become more aware. You're going to be able to um, feel, uh, be more intuitive. Uh, but they're, they're telling you to slow down because your angels are trying to show you different things along the way that are going to help you with your process to help you um, because you're ready now. You're starting those signs. Uh, you're starting that process, but your major rebirth is going to be in May. 
Um, what the cards are telling me is uh, to not spend and focus so much time at work uh, that you have a new path coming your direction. You are being prepared to be moved into the uh, your soul's purpose where um, you can follow your heart in what you do and to listen for communication from your angels. They're trying to reach out to you through meditation. Um, but yeah, that slow down is, uh, you're going so fast through life and not really that you're speeding through life, but that, uh, to be more aware is what they're really saying. Um, to, to be conscious of everything around you, to look for the hidden signs and synchronicities in a song on the radio or a billboard you drive by on your way home from work every day. And it's been there for a year, but you never noticed it before. Things like that. They're trying to give you little hints, little signs um, to make this ascension process a little bit easier for you um, <clears throat> to show you what's, you know, to show you um, the signs and synchronicities of what is to come and um, just to slow down and enjoy life a little bit. Uh, you're you're going to switch gears here um, come summer, spring and summer in that four to five month range. You're going to switch gears in your your job, your uh the way you contribute to the collective and um, they just want you to kind of see the signs along the way. It's your angels trying to reach out to you and, um, and kind of guide you and in, in which path to go. So, all right, number nine, that is your answer. I am going to cut it off here, upload this video. So this will be for questions three through nine. Um, and I will be back with the next set.